Okay, so now we're going to talk about using the binomial formula once you have a binomial situation. So here is the formula to calculate a binomial, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually use Microsoft Excel to find some of these values. Here's another way to view that formula right there. Again, it's just NCR, but we're going to focus on um, using the technology to help us compute these. So the binomial formula is used to find the probability that there will be x successes out of n trials. Now we're going to break down some of this notation. It's going to be really important that we understand what these letters mean. So n is the number of trials, right? p will be the probability of success. x will be the number of successes. Now that's different. I might have a 50% chance to flip a coin and get a heads, but if I toss the coin 10 times and I'm trying to get three successes, the number of successes will be x. So if p is the probability of success, then q is the probability of failure. So if p is the probability of success, q is the probability of failure. And if x, if I have n trials and I have x successes, then if we do n minus x, we will get the number of failures. So given that a, a number of trials n is equal to 10, find the probability of successes for any one trial. All right, so let me get to these. I'll work through these. We're going to work through these using our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So when you open this spreadsheet up, what you see is this first one is our one variable statistics. This is where we get mean, median, mode, standard deviation, so on and so forth. The next one was our discrete probability distribution. We dealt with that in some of the previous videos. And then the next one we see here is binomial. And it asks us P, which is the probability of success, N, which is the number of trials, and X, which is how many successes are we looking to get. So um, this first one, it says N is 10. So I know N is equal to 10. P is 0 0.5. This is like the probability of success, such as flipping a coin and getting a heads. There's a 50-50 chance you get a heads. And then the first problem says, get five heads out of 10 flips. So how many successes would I want? This time, the number of successes I want would be five. So I'm going to go to the Excel worksheet. And P is going to be 0 0.5. N is the number of trials. We said we were going to flip the coin coin 10 times, and we wanted exactly five successes. And that gives us a probability of 0 0.24609, we'll round this four places, 0 0.2461. All right, the next one says eight heads out of 10 flips. So this time, it's going to be the same N, the same P, but this time, we're going to find the probability of getting eight, so X would be eight here. All right, so I'm going to go to my Excel spreadsheet, and where I see that X, I'm just going to change that 5 to an 8, and then I'm going to hit Enter. And so it's less likely, but it's 0. Point... All right, I want, I want to just go over a little bit about rounding 9, so I'm going to write this whole thing out, and we'll round it four places. 0. 0.04395. 0. 0.04395. Remember, if we round this 1, 2, 3, 4 places, look to the number to the right of it. It is five or higher, so we round this up. This three becomes a four and four and zero. So the probability of getting eight out of 10 flips is 0 0.0440. All right, the next one we're gonna take a look at is if we have 32 trials. So again, N here is gonna be 32. So N is equal to 32. And it says the probability of success for any one trial is 0 0.35. So I know my P is equal to 0 0.35. This says find the probability of getting 11 successes. So in this case, X is equal to 11. So I'm going to go to my Excel worksheet. We're going to clear out the values we have. I'm going to, for P, I am going to put 0 0.35. For N, I'm going to put uh, 32 trials, and I want the probability of getting 11 successes, and that gives me 0 0.1468. All right, this next one says find the probability of zero successes out of 32 trials. This is the case where x would just be zero. So I'm going to use the exact same numbers in my Excel spreadsheet. I just need to change the number of successes to zero. And the probability of that is, in fact, it's 0 0.0000. It's really small. It's not actually impossible, but it's really, really unlikely.